GT here, and today I got an unboxing for y'all. I got a PlayStation 4 Power A charging stand. So pretty much what this is, it's a compact charging stand for your PS4 controller. So pretty much you plug this into your USB on the PS4 system and tuck it away somewhere and leave it on the side, and boom. Compact design, hidden cables, and your controller is charging, which is pretty awesome. So this is made by Power A. Uh, it keeps your DualShock port controller fully charged and ready to game. So you pretty much once you're done playing, then you can just put it on the charger, boom, that's it. Once you're ready to play, you go back upstairs or downstairs, wherever you have your system, pick up the controller, boom, it's ready to go. And you don't have to worry about changing batteries because this DualShock already has a built-in battery. And you don't have to be worried about plugging in stuff to the outlets or anything like that. You can just, boom, set it down, let it charge, come back to game, pick it up, you're ready to go. So, let's go ahead and get a close-up of this thing and see how it looks. And... Alright, so here you have the stand, and you have your PS4 controller. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I am going to open my scissors, or not open my scissors, use the scissors and cut the box open, which I am doing here. Hopefully I don't freaking cut myself. And you got stickers right there on the side. Alright, now that we have this open, we're going to pull it out the box. But before we pull it out the box, I'm going to show you the front and back of the box so y'all know what it looks like. It's PlayStation 4 Power A officially licensed product charging stand. So this is for your DualShock controller. That's the side of the box. This is made by Power A and they did get it officially licensed from Sony. Which is pretty cool. I like the design and all how it looks. You know, you can just lay it next to your PS4 and it's all blacked out. And, you know, it matches. And it lays next to it, which is pretty cool. Or you can put it on top. So, now that we have it here, let's get it out the box. Nothing in the box. Woo! <clears throat> Alright, so here you have your instructions. How to set it up, how it goes. So that's pretty much it. I'm leave it here. Let's take it out of the wrapper. And as you can see here, it's covered up in plastic. And bam, there you go. You put this here, it has a little black box. You push it down. So push up, push down. And then you have your PS4 USB cable that goes into your PS4 in the front or in the back. And here's the close-up look of the charging stand. So as you can see here, the officially licensed PlayStation logo. Power A logo in the back, another logo of PlayStation on the side, and then you have the two little prongs or pins that's going to charge your controller. So, another thing came in this box, which is a little USB piece. So, as you can see here, it's micro USB right here. Bam, there you go. Alright, so it comes with this micro USB here that I just showed y'all. And you have your PS4 controller. So many of you are wondering, where does this piece go? Well, in the back of your controller, you have micro USB here and you have micro USB there. So what you want to do is plug it back here in the back. Nice and snug. You know, where it doesn't move. Boom, there you go. And that's it. See the back? And it doesn't interfere or anything when you're playing. You can always leave it on, or if you want to, you can always take it off, and it makes no difference. So the next thing you want to do, since this is already on, oops, I turned on my controller by accident. So what you want to do is plug it here, and bam. It is charging as we speak. Well, technically not really because it's unplugged. But that's what it is. That is your charging stand. Flip it to the side. Goes to the back, flip it to the other side, and then flip it to the front. Charging stand for the PlayStation 4. Alright, so there you have it there. You have the charging stand, the PlayStation 4 controller, and the box. So hopefully this is just a quick little review, a quick unboxing, just to show you what the stand is for. I did pick this up for Black Friday at GameStop for $19.99. But if you want to get it cheaper, Target has it right now for $14.99. I just came back from Target to check out some of their remainder sales. And I'm kind of kicking myself on this one because they have it for $5 less. 
But either way, it's well worth the money. Uh, these usually retail for like 30 bucks. So, you know, I still save money either way. And I did get a discount with my friend at GameStop. So, which is pretty cool. So, hopefully you take this review in consideration. And maybe you maybe want to purchase one. If you're tired of just plugging in your controller and leaving it on the floor. You maybe just want this for like a decoration and plug in your scuff. PlayStation controller or something. So, thank y'all guys and gals for watching. Uh, hopefully this video helped out. If you enjoyed this video, let's get at least 10 likes. And I will be doing more unboxings, some semi-reviews, and letting y'all know my pickups and other stuff I do. So this is Final Feature GT here. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'm signing out, and I'll see y'all guys and gals later. Adios.